So, as we discussed, the recognize your own issues, the first tool, second must be grade your issues. After grading that issue, we must select the priority of issue, the most uh, issue which needed attention for should take first one. So the priority, so we must prioritize the issues as per the requirement. Then improvement, then we are trying to move ahead how that issue can be resolved, how can we improve by the situation, how we can reduce the cost or else how we can make and better things of that particular area. So the next one rule is never acknowledge business as usual. Don't expect that every day you are going to carry on the same activity, routine, so uh, monotonous work, no. We should not acknowledge as usual business. We must go for the better one or changing continuous improvement is what we expected while dealing with the Kaizen costing. So Kaizen rule is that never acknowledge business as usual. Next is never reject any thought attempting to it. So always go for uh, opportunities, always go for asking contribution from the employees give and take every kind of uh, thoughts, don't reject anything, try to uh, accommodate and implement in a better way to get a result of continuous improvement. Offer the analysis with partners. So always go uh, with the, uh, your employees, keep uh, the Kaizen modeling can be possible with the hand in hand uh, things going on. So offer the analysis with partners. This is what the rule number seven is. Never hide issues, consistently highlight them. This is what the main important rule of the case and posting. Always show the issues or highlight them so they will be resolved as per their the priority. Because the many issues are there in organizations, but we are addressing one by one or the according to the grading or the priorities of the issue. So always uh, show the issues or don't uh, hide the issues, consistently highlight them so they can be resolved in coming time. Next, we are moving towards the principle of Kaizen costing. What will be the principles of Kaizen costing? How we are going to understand? So, the first principle is less to be stage. So our focus is on less to wastages, how to reduce the wastages. Because when in the organizations, any kind of material, time, efforts are going to be waste, that will cause high. So we must reduce the wastages. This is what the first principle of Kaizen that needs to be addressed, that we should reduce the wastages that can help us to achieving the continuous improvement with the reducing cost. We can control the cost with that. Next principle is increase employee satisfaction. We can go further with the motivated workforce. So we need the motivated workforce to achieve fulfill the targets of organization. To achieve the goals of organizations, we need a motivated workforce or employees. So, therefore, we must increase employee satisfaction as and when they are coming up with issues, they need to be addressed and should be resolved. So, this is how Kaizen costing helps for the teamwork. So, reducing wastage can be possible with the help of organizations, employees, those who are contributing to the organizations. Then, the improved working commitment, we can enhance the working condition and try to take out a commitment from the workforce. So employees can contribute their share with uh, motivation or efficiency and that will reduce a successful Kaizen costing implementation. So the less to a stage, increase employee satisfaction, improve working commitment, and increase competitiveness. Ultimately, the aim of Kaizen costing is to face the competition and succeed on it. So when we want to deliver the product at less cost and good quality, 
that can be possible within an organizational growing strategies or the continuous improvement will help us to reach the uh, outcome of Kaizen University. This is how the four principles of less wastage, increase employee satisfaction, and improve working commitment and increase competition helps us to reach there. There are advantages or the benefits of Kaizen Costume. There are only benefits of Kaizen Costume because Kaizen Costume is participating and uh, providing the uh, good things to the organizations and within organizations, the continuous improvement helps us to reach the goal. So, the first advantage is time saving. Kaizen costing is trying to reduce the time of wastages, and the time saving is a main part of Kaizen because while working on workplace, the employees have to contribute and to understand the issues, and they have to address and highlight that issue. So there is no different mechanism uh, to assist or to evaluate the system. No, the within organizations at the time for the working place or production site is going on, the workers are uh, there and feeling that issues and they have to raise them. So this is a time saving technique. This is how the time savings ultimately are going to save money and reduce the cost. The next one is movement. So Kaizen costing is having a movement. It is a, a participative thing. Every employee within organizations is trying to contribute from his side that how he can reduce the cost, how he can do better uh, production line or how he can uh, give an improvement within the organization. So the continuous improvement is a responsibility of overall organizational staff, whether from the lower level management or the higher level management. So this is the movement which create atmosphere of uh, doing of improvement and that is a continuous improvement. The next one is variations. There are differences, the different variations are there. The Kaizen is addressing various type and each every department at, uh, things whether the finance department, the marketing department, sales department. So everyone is being be addressed with the help of Kaizen model. Then the next one is over processing. Yes, the Kaizen itself working within organizations and every participating is providing the ideas and it is being over processes. It can be processed with the ideas generated by the employees and that is uh, what it can be worked on. Defective. The advantage of Kaizen is to find out the defect on the spot on the process itself. So there will be no waste of time in finding out the defect. So this is how the Kaizen having advantages for it. The next part, how uh, we are summarizing this chapter is. So let's summarize this chapter. Already discussed that Kaizen is a Japanese expense, expense for making constant upgradation and somewhat little exercise as opposed to major investment in improvement. So Kaizen is restricting uh, huge investment. It is avoiding the huge investment within organizations. It's a cost effective technology or technique within organizations while doing your work, you can contribute to the quality. <laughs> you can give continuous improvement to the organizations with the help of resolving issues system. So this is how the Kaizen uh, costing gives you the benefit. The goal of Kaizen costing is to diminish genuine expenses to make an item underneath the standard expenses. We want to reduce the expenses of the cost. So standard expenses framework by and large instead to accomplish the expense principles by the board while Kaizen costing frameworks are more worried about decreasing the real expenses than uh, standard expenses. So we are trying to reduce the real expenses in the organizations. What sort of multiple choice question can be asked? The goal of DASH is to diminish genuine expenses to make an item underneath the standard expenses.